I'm back. After many months of being gone. <laughs> Characters living or dying in Grey's Anatomy isn't something new. In the past 18 seasons, more than 14 beloved characters have either died or left the show for different reasons. Some had us devastated. And others just a bit meh, sad, I guess. But in my opinion, none of those had us been so angry at the departure like Alex Karev because it's just make sense. I mean it does, but it doesn't. I've never seen a show throwing away more than 10 seasons worth of character development in just one fucking episode and that's what this video is about. Me venting about Alex leaving the show because I just finished rewatching Grey's Anatomy and I'm mad and I'm so angry and to be fair, I wish they had him instead. At least they wouldn't have ruined his character that bad and just would be another, oh no, another character has died. Another one to the list. In the first season, Alex Karev is just an asshole. <laughs> I'm not gonna even try and deny it. He's barely important to the story since his only personality at the time was to be a bully, very inappropriate, and give George syphilis. You get me syphilis? He's even edited in post-production in the very first episode, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that they didn't know what to do with him in the very beginning. They just gave him no personality until seasons later. As seasons went on, we got to learn about his background. Um, he grew up in an abusive household with a junkie for a father who did nothing but beat up his mom. And his mom, who suffers from mental illness, incapable of taking care of herself, let alone her three children. So Alex, being the oldest one from a very young age, had to be a parent figure for his siblings. He moved from foster home to foster home throughout his childhood until he became an adult. Through the sessions, we got to scratch up the surface of Alex just being an asshole to, oh, he actually cares deep down. He actually has a heart. He's not that bad. He's, I guess, nice. <laughs> Having a rough childhood doesn't excuse him of a social in season 13. I understand the circumstances were not the best, but beating him up to the point that he has to be admitted in the hospital where he could have easily killed him just because he walked in on the Luke and Joe in an out of context situation. Can excuse him for having an abusive dad. Instead of being a normal human being with a brain and ask for the context when he walked in into that situation where, I guess, yeah, it's the first thought that it comes to your head when you go home and your girlfriend, I think they were kind of on and off at the time, so I'm not pretty sure if they were dating, what we call dating at the time, but I guess we're just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna say girlfriend because I'm not gonna complicate myself. So, so going home to your girlfriend when her top off and then a dude in her bed, your bed, um, I guess it, it doesn't leave that much for explanation, but it doesn't excuse you for reacting to beat that guy up the point that he has to go to the hospital to the point that he has to wear a casket on his arm and then on top of that you don't even apologize to him after you know oh yeah such a good guy that brings you to the hospital but he doesn't even apologize to, to Luca or try to explain to Luca hey I just reacted I didn't mean to I'm sorry don't sue me it wouldn't really help the situation because the Luca is still you know Andrew is still in the hospital unable to move and not gonna be able to properly work later but still it would have maybe maybe Deluca wouldn't have um press charges and now that i'm talking about this incident i'm gonna mention something comment something that i really really hate about the whole incident in general is that i hate how everyone pressured Deluca into dropping these charges and sidelining him for suing alex after he was literally assaulted by him like, how is the look at the bad guy? <laughs> I just, 
I know there's a video about Alex, but let me just talk about how is the look at the bad guy in that situation. He was just at the wrong place, <laughs> wrong time. Why is everyone, you know, making making him feel like the bad guy for suing um, his assaulter? So I, I don't know. I really, really hate how everyone did that. Everyone um, make it seem like the Luca was a bad guy and Alex was a bad guy, but just like a bump in the road, you know, like he didn't mean to. <laughs> he did get consequences, like he was, I think, fired or suspended. Alex is someone that clearly cares about people, um, but doesn't have the best healthy way of showing it, clearly. His growth as a person goes along with him switching from plastic to peat. In case you don't remember, his first interest was plastics because boobs. When he starts working on peat, he and everyone realizes that he's good at it and very good with kids. When he starts focusing on peat is when coincidentally uh, Alex stops acting like some hormonal teenager who only cares about who he's sleeping with in the own call room and starts acting like an adult with invention and dreams and desire to be better and be the best pit surgeon. When he impulsively creates the program for kids from Africa to get treated uh, pro bono, even though it wasn't exactly his idea, he put all his heart on it uh, to make it work and it was very successful. So I guess let's give um, props where there should be props. I think Pitt was very uh, a, a very defining moment for Alex and again it goes along with his growth because when he started focusing on that he started becoming or started acting like um, a real human being with feelings and shit. Since we're talking about caring, let's dissect some of his past relationships starting with EC. I guess our secondary character in this episode. Some people believe she's the love of his life and others have actually watched the show. They start dating in season two where we get the first few signs of Alex avoiding being vulnerable and resulting them breaking up. Oh yeah, they need to care also happens. So I guess that's relevant. Then he met Ava and Rebecca. At the time she was just a Jane though who Alex got attached to because he didn't want her to feel alone. They spent a lot of time together until he realizes she remembers who she was and he gets angry. She comes back a few times, she's dealing with the Stockholm Syndrome. After she sees him doing surgery, she keeps interrupting him, asking how he could be okay after surgery, and he questions her about why she's even here, like she's playing dress up when she has a husband and baby at home. She's here again. This time she's pregnant. Oh, no, she's not pregnant. They get her a psych consult and find out her husband left her and that she's dealing with underlying borderline personality disorder and gets admitted. Izzy took care of Alex during that time and they get back together but this time Izzy has cancer but no one knows that yet. Alex noticed her being weird but ignores it because he doesn't want to believe that he is with another crazy chick. His words, not mine. <laughs> Turns out she has cancer and now everyone knows and Alex is scared and, the, and he hates this is how they're ending up and they get married. Izzy gets surgery that she didn't want first but uh, do it for but she did it for Alex. She later caught it in his arms and they resisted her against her witches. In decision six, Alex is worried about Izzy coming back to work too soon and He's worried about Richard cutting her out of the program. She's fired, believing it was Alex's fault. And she leaves a note. When that happens, he goes back to his old days, sleeping with everyone, you know, season one, Alex is back. And when EC eventually comes back, they talk and he thanks her for showing him he's a good man and that he deserves someone that will stay for him and ask her to never come back.
I feel like every show has like their OTP for every character or maybe not OTP I think I'm mixing up concepts but like every show has like the relationship like the perfect relationship for every character that no matter how toxic they are the show will put them together at the end like for example Pretty Little Liars Arya and Ezra, Hen and Caleb, Alison and Emily and Spencer and Toby like they were together from the beginning well not exactly the beginning but they were together pretty early on the show and during most of the show and then at the end of the show they ended up together like and the show didn't really even try to explore different relationships with them like they did have other relationships but like the show never really gave them a chance you know and the fans also never gave them a chance every show does that Grey's Anatomy is a very extensive show, like it has 18 seasons or maybe 19 seasons, I, I have lost count, but since it has so many seasons, obviously they can just really do that because, well, every character dies or leaves at some point, so it's kind of hard to just make like a one OTP. Um, but they still try to do that anyway, such as when Meredith and Derek, and then we have Jackson and April, even though April ended up with Matthew and Jackson dated Maggie and the firefighter, you know, and it's still Jackson and April. <laughs> Even though after rewatching the show, I realized that I don't really like that relationship and they have so many issues. Maybe I'll make a video about that. I make no promises, but um, it is still Jackson and April, even though they didn't end up together at the end. The show tried to do that with Alex and Easy. Like, if you rewatch the show, or at least in my case, when I rewatched the show, I realized that I didn't really like them together because they didn't really fit together. Because when they were first together in season two, um, Alex was not ready for a relationship. He, he was not in the mindset to be in a relationship. Like, he just, no. And Izzy was. Izzy deserved a boyfriend who would um, be there for her and actually you know, respect her. And then when they got together in season five, season six, Alex was a better man and he was not ready for a relationship and to make it work. But then Easy, you know, she was she was sick. She had cancer. She had other priorities. When she was fired, like she didn't even think twice about Alex and she just left. She also pushed them until Joe came along. Like they still pushed them as an idea of Easy was the love of his life. And then Joe came along and they were like, oh no, it's actually Joe, the love of his life. And and then season 16, episode 16 happened. Let's talk about it. <laughs> season 16, episode 16, aka the episode that destroys 16 seasons worth of character development. I'm going to first summarize it and then give my thoughts. So we have like a little bit of like what I'm talking about. So the episode starts off Richard giving the interim speech we are all never tired of hearing. Alex sent a letter notifying that he had left Seattle and won't come back to Joe, Mayor, Bailey and Richard. First one to read the letter was Mayor. He tells her that he couldn't come back to tell her to her face because he feared disappointing her. She was the only one who was a, who always set him straight. And he explains that he reconnected with Easy when Mare was in danger of losing her license. He finds that Easy had his kids. I think I didn't say this before, but um, when she got um, cancer, they fertilized her eggs with Alex's sperm. Okay, back to the episode. He finds that Easy had his kids and he wanted to be mad, but he's grateful that she did. And now the kids can have two parents when he rarely got one. And he feels that he's finally where he should be. He apologizes to Joe because she deserves better than a letter. He assures her that he loves her, but there was a part of him who always wondered about Easy and felt like they left things unresolved. He tells her about the kids and Joe is the only one who understands why he can't live. He needs to give them the family that they never had. He thanks her for taking care of him when he needed it and for taking care of herself when she needed it. He sent her the divorce papers already signed and leaves her his shares of the hospital. His letter to Bailey explains that she reminded him of every teacher he ever had who 
looked at him and decided that he was garbage but she let him grow up and push him when he needed it and she was just more than a teacher to him and he thanks her for that. Richard is in an AA meeting talking about how talking about the letter of how his excellent student um, decided to abandon all for the woman he loves and Richard wants to tell him that it's a mistake but he identifies with him because he was once also someone who loved two women at the, at the same time and he just wants to say goodbye. I understand why Alex uh, wants to stay for the kids. Seeing how he grew up and getting the chance to be the father to those kids that he never had. Wanted, wanted to give them a family. I get it. And I think it's the right choice. I do think that that's something that Alex Karev would do. So that's the part where it makes sense. However, the departure, the way that he left is so fucking wrong. And that's where it doesn't make sense. He hadn't been on screen since the episode of Meredith um, medical license hearing, ghosting Joe, making her fear the worst, sending letters to both Mare and Joe, explaining why he left. God, I'm so mad. Because both Mare and Joe, specifically Joe, deserve so much better than a fucking letter. The actor Justin Chamber left the show mid-season 16. I've been trying to find a reason why he left. Um, I mean, he wanted to... Um, pursue other things and he wanted to spend more time with his family so it's understandable but I just don't understand why he left so abruptly but I couldn't find a reason so I get why the ending of Alex Karev felt rush and like out of nowhere but I truly believe that they should have killed him instead leaving Joe over a letter sending her the divorce papers without at least picking up the phone and explaining her everything knowing how devastated he was when in season six when Izzy was fired she left him a note notifying him she left both Seattle and him he was so angry at Izzy for not saying anything for not even have the strength to tell him in person knowing that he deserves so much more than that and he just goes and does the same thing to Joe, the woman he supposedly loves. Like he knew out of everyone, Joe would understand the situation. And so why would he treat her like that? If he knows that she would understand that he had to stay for his kids and give them the family that he never had. If she would understand all of that, then why couldn't you tell her that? I understand I wanted to tell Meredith, I understand I wanted to tell Bailey or Richard because you don't want to disappoint them, so that's fine and I get it. But if you know your wife loves you, understands understands that why he didn't, then why he acted so cowardly and just didn't do it. He went back to his old days of escaping and looking for the easy way out because he's too afraid to disappoint. And yes, like I said before, I much rather they had killed him. I don't care how, but at least, at least it would have been a better goodbye. And at least they wouldn't have ruined 16 seasons of character development. Season 16, episode 16, Sophia's version. I would have loved to pull an George death um, in this episode. Because I feel like it would have been more fitting if they want to do the whole thing of like, oh yes, he's coming back to easy. It has always been easy. Then I would have loved um, him being on his way back to Seattle to explain everything to Joe. Uh, maybe had written the letters so he knows exactly what to say. And then boom, he died because of a car accident or plane crash or where he had to go to the hospital you know and everybody would be so worried about him like oh my god Alex Karev what happened and where was he why did he was gone for a few days and now he's back where was he and then um they check his pockets and they see that they that there's papers on them and Joe grabs them and she reads the letter 
like he was on his way to say a proper goodbye to them like that would have been way better <laughs> that would have been way better and they wouldn't even need the actor to do that let's just have another man like another actor just covering up like, i don't know i think it would have been better you know and, and more sad um because at the end like he wouldn't be with joe and he wouldn't be with easy sad for the kids though that's um, sad for the kids yeah definitely but i i don't care i don't know the kids <laughs> Now that I think about it, there has been two times where Alex has done something that Izzy did to him first and he gave her shit for it. The first one was um, when she fell in love with a patient, Danny Duquette. Um, everyone, including Alex, gave her shit for that because you can't fall in love with a patient because it's immoral, an ethic. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but it's not right, I guess. And then... A session later, later, Alex did the same thing when Ava. He, I wouldn't say he fell in love with her, but he got too attached to her. And then in session six, when Easy left a note notifying that she was leaving Seattle and Alex without exactly explaining anything, um, he was devastated. Whatever we talked about it, but then. <laughs> He does the same thing in season 16 to Joe, Mayor, and everyone else. He also wrote a note notifying that he was leaving and not coming back. It's just interesting to notice that he has done the same thing that he gave shit to Easy beforehand. Hmm. So who should have Alex ended up with? Well, the answer is quite easy. He even said it on the letter. I mean, in the letter, he specifically said, because I've seen this um, debate on TikTok. And to me, it, had, it hasn't always been easy. It was in the beginning, but then when Joe came in and showed Alex what love really is and what really is to, you know, to be loved by someone who truly cares about you and truly wants to be with you, um, easy was out of the window. <laughs> so... Alex loved Joe and that's we know that like he loved Joe and he would still be with Joe if it wasn't for the kids. He literally just went back to Easy because of the fucking kids. That's it. That's that that's it. If it weren't for the kids, Joe if it weren't for the kids, Alex wouldn't even think twice about leaving fucking Seattle. But I guess like they didn't want to kill another character because at this point killing another character in Grey's Anatomy is just a fucking joke and nobody really really cares about it so it's Alex Karev it's one of the main characters you actually have to give him a proper goodbye <laughs> and I guess I wanted to do something different something that you know every beloved character besides Christina um, and I wouldn't say Jackson because Jackson came in season 6 but Every beloved character that was there since the fucking beginning has died. So I guess I didn't want to just do that and do something else. But it just, it just doesn't fucking work because they didn't really think it through. <laughs> because it, they, they just decided to do that without caring if it made sense for the storyline. Um, so this is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If anyone that is watching now um, cares about what, uh, why I haven't been posting, um, there's a few reasons. Uh, one of them is the fact that I was making, um, that I was preparing several videos about Grey's Anatomy. And since Grey's Anatomy has 18 seasons, it takes me quite a while to rewatch the whole show, especially when um, every season after the ninth season um, sucks. So um, it takes me more than it would take me to watch a normal session. And then I took a few breaks and I went on vacation with my boyfriend. And then um, my mental health haven't, hasn't been at its best. Um, I have good days, I have bad days. Today it's quite good, but yesterday I had an anxiety attack. So um, I'm just trying to leave one day at a time. Um, I'm doing good. <laughs> Could be better, but I am. I'm not bad, and I hope you guys are okay. 
so yeah if you're still here thank you and um i am gonna try i will try to um post videos more often and that's it bye